Unit 57. Good wishes. Speaking and listening. Introduction. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh. oh. mm. Cheers. 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 <laughs> How old are you, Anna? Today I'm 30. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Hello, Anna. <laughs> Happy birthday. Tony, it is not my birthday. Really? Oh, well. Is it your birthday? <laughs> no. <laughs> Horace, we're sorry that you're leaving us, but good luck with all your future activities. Oh, good luck. Speech. 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 Angela, I'm not going to the Seychelles. I'm going to Sweden. Oh! I'll be walking in the forests, swimming in the lakes, and visiting the old town in Stockholm. Oh, lovely. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be sitting in front of this computer. Oh. <laughs> Have a good trip. Thanks. Any luggage? Uh, yes. Uh, this case. Any uh, hand luggage? Uh, this briefcase. That's fine. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Thank you. Have a good flight. Thank you. Well, have a nice evening. Thank you. I'm going to the theatre. Mm, what are you going to see? A play called The Empty Room. Oh, yes. I went to see it last week. Hello? Mr. Grant? Yes? I have a call for you. Thank you. It's from London, England. Thank you. It's a woman. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Good wishes. Listen. Hi, Norman. Hello, Sue. Oh, good luck with your examination. Thanks. When is it? Today. Really? Are you ready for it? I think so. I've done a lot of revision. Well, all the best for it. Thanks. Keep your fingers crossed for me. OK. Oh, no, sorry. I can't keep my fingers crossed today. I'll be writing a lot of letters. Ha, ha. Well, wish me luck anyway. Sure. Good luck. I hope everything goes well. Thanks. Listen and repeat. Good luck with your examination. Good luck with your new job. All the best for your driving test. All the best for your interview. I hope everything goes well. Listen. Hello, Norman. Hello, Mr. Lee. This is a surprise. How are you? Fine, thanks. You look worried. No, I was just thinking. I've got an exam today. Oh. Well, good luck with it. Thanks. How are your parents? They're fine. Give them my regards. Oh, and remember me to your grandmother. I will. Well, I can't stop. I don't want to be late for the exam. Right. All the best for it. Thanks. Give my best to Mrs. Lee. I will. And say hello to Mary for me. Bye. Bye. Listen and repeat. Remember me to your grandmother. Give my regards to your parents. Give my best to your wife. Say hello to Mary for me. Congratulations. Listen and repeat. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Listen. 
Mr. and Mrs. Lee. Hello. Hello, Norman. You're looking very happy. Yes, it's my birthday today. Is it really? Happy birthday. Thank you. And it's my wedding anniversary. Our wedding anniversary? Our wedding anniversary, yes, of course. Well, happy anniversary. How long have you been married? Twenty-five years. Twenty-five years? Mm. Yes. It seems like fifty, but it's only twenty-five. <laughs> what? I'm joking, George. Oh. We've been married for twenty-five very happy years. Well, congratulations. Listen and say congratulations to each person. We've just discovered that we're going to have a baby. I'm 21 today. Stella and I are going to get married. I've just had a promotion. It's our 25th wedding anniversary today. I've just won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Listen. Hello, Norman. Hi, Sue. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for weeks. I've been away. Have you had your exam results? Yes, I passed. That's great news. Well done. Thanks. I can't stop. See you. Bye. Norman. Hello, Mr. Lee. I saw your father yesterday. I was very pleased to hear that you passed your examination. Congratulations. Thank you. Listen and repeat. That's great news. Well done. That's great news. Well done. Listen and say, that's great news. Well done to each person. I've just had my exam results. I passed. I've just finished my first novel, and I've found a publisher for it. Sympathy. Listen. Hi, Norman. Hi, Sue. What's the matter? You're not looking very happy today. I'm not feeling very happy. I've just taken my driving test. How did it go? I thought it went very well, but I failed. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Still, never mind. Better luck next time. Thanks. Listen and repeat. I've just taken my driving test. How did it go? I failed. Oh, that's too bad. Still, never mind. Better luck next time. Song. Better luck next time. Hi, Norman. Happy birthday. How's it feel to be 21? And I hear that you've got your diploma. Congratulations, well done. Norman, have a nice day in the country. Be careful that you don't get lost. All the best for your driving test. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Accents of English. 
This speaker is from Jamaica. Listen. I was born in an area that had a long history of slavery and the plantation system. And music was a part of the environment. The people going to work in the morning, walking sometimes four miles, you know, they sang. If somebody troubled them, they sang. If somebody died, somebody was born for religious purposes. And then, of course, a lot of work songs. As with all cultures, work songs were used to lighten labor. But with us, it was more than that, because we weren't allowed to talk. You know, we liked to talk. We weren't allowed to talk during <laughs> working hours, which was from dark in the morning, we were told, till dark in the night. So we got round it. So they said, don't talk, so we sang. Also, in order to pass on messages, sometimes to cover up for someone who was escaping. So the work songs were very important. And they carried on into the plantation system because as a child, I remember many of them. But in thousands of songs that I have collected, I've never found one word of hatred or anger because the music was a therapy. I think it's something of which we could be proud. Synopsis Dialogue <sighs> It's my parents' wedding anniversary on Saturday. It's their 35th, isn't it? Yes. Their 35th wedding anniversary. Shall we go and see them? On Saturday? Yes. Sorry, I'm working this weekend. I have to be in London. Oh. Okay. I'll go by myself. Fine. Uh, give them my regards. I will. And my congratulations, of course. Sure. 35 years. Hmm. What's this? The Devil's Dictionary by Ambrose Bierce. Do you know it? He was an American writer. Yes. He was born in 1842, and he disappeared in Mexico in 1913 or 1914. That's right. I've read some of his stories. This dictionary is quite funny. It's very cynical, but it's quite funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen to this. Egotist. A person of low taste, more interested in himself than in me. <laughs> <laughs> and bore. A person who talks when you want him to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it for my father. I think you'll like it. Uh, what does it say about marriage? Marriage? Yes. Uh, marriage. A community consisting of a master, a mistress, and two slaves, making in all two. What was that? <laughs> marriage. A community consisting of a master, a mistress, and two slaves, making in all two. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with it either. But it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 